Welcome to Maze Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is odd even linked list. So given a singly linked list, group all odd nodes together followed by the even nodes. And note that we're talking about the node numbers and not the value of the node. So say that we had a linked list and it looked something like this. Forget, uh, say that these are the values. And basically what we want to do is move through this and take the odd numbered nodes and put them at front and take the even numbered nodes and put him on the second half and keep the order of how we did that. All right, so how, how do we do this? Well, the straightforward method uh, would be to move through this entire list and build two new linked lists, right? One for the odd number. So we could start with building a linked list with like A and C. Uh, and during that time, we can also build even num number ones and build that, say, B, D. And at the end, combine these two by saying, take the tail of the odd linked list and point that to the head of the even linked list. But we want to do this in constant space. We don't want to build extra linked lists to do this. So um, it's still the same idea. We would just, rather than building a new linked list, change the pointer of each odd one to the next odd number uh, and ch change the pointer for the current even node to the next even node. So we'll have to have a two pointer solution and iterate down the linked list once. Uh, and, and at the very end, what we'll do is point the, uh, the last node of the odd linked list and point that to the head of the even linked list. And that should finish it. Um, so to say that, how uh, do we want to begin? Well, there's a couple of cases that we want to first check. First, we want to see if there's a head, right? Because if there's no head, if not head, we'll just, we'll return whatever head they gave us, which is be a none. Uh, but there's also another case where we have a head, but we don't have a second node. So we don't have an even number node. So we can't you know, jumble anything, we just have to return the head again, right? So if not head dot next, also return oh, the head back. Uh, but you can also think there's one more case. Well, what if we have just two nodes? We have an odd and an even, but that's it. We just have two nodes. Then there's no point in jumbling these back together again, right? All we would need to do is return back what we what was given to us since it's already sorted in the way that they expect. So if not head.next.next, .next, so there's no third node, then we can return head. And this will be fine because Python first checks the first condition. And if that fails, it immediately gets to, um, comes, out, comes out of this if, if statement. So we'll be fine. All right, so now we want to have two pointers, right? One for the even nodes and one for the odd nodes. So let's first call this odd pointer. And that's going to be equal to the head that was given to us. And we'll have one for the even pointer, and that's going to be equal to the head.next. Um, we also want to ha store something called current, and this is going to be what allows us to traverse down the linked list uh, while updating our two pointers, or updating our current linked list using these two pointers. All right, so while current, and one thing to note is we'll use an index number to store whether we're at an odd or even number. And since we've already stored the first two, we don't care about index numbers one and two, right? Because that's already been set up here. Um, the odd pointer is pointing to the head of the odd list and the even one uh, to the even head. So um, in our if statement, we can say, all right, check if i is, if i is greater than two and um, if this is, say, an odd number, so i modular 2 does not equal 0, uh, then it's odd. What do we want to do? Uh, we want to update our pointer dot next to point to wherever we are right now. This is an odd point in our linked list. And we will uh, update our odd pointer to the next that we just sent. Now, there's the second case where i is also greater than 2, but it's even. This modular 
is equal to zero, so it's an even point. Well, then we just do the same thing, but for the other even pointer. So we'll say that's equal to current and even pointer, um, move our even pointer ahead. And finally, if um, neither of these conditions held, we just want to keep traversing. So current.current.next and also update our one, our i index. So cool, that's gonna get through our full length list and we'll now have all the pointers pointing to the right, um, you know, their, their odd ones or the even ones. Now, one quick thing to note before we set the odd pointer to the even pointer head, uh, one thing you have to remember is we actually need to set our even pointer uh, to point to none because we know that wherever the even pointer even node last even node ended this could actually be still pointing to the to one of the odd nodes but we know that now it's going to be pointing to nothing because this will always be the end of the list the the last even node um, will be pointing to nothing so make sure to remember that and finally we have to set the odd pointer dot next to the head of the even pointer and we don't have that anymore we've lost it so we'll just store that up here we'll say even head so that we'll we won't ever forget that and we'll point the odd pointer next to the even head and finally we can just return the head because the head hasn't changed um, and let's just make sure this runs okay one three five two four submit it Okay, cool. So it's pretty straightforward, just a two-pointer solution. Um, it's just a little bit tricky to remember um, some of these weird use cases and the fact that you have to make the even pointer that next point to nothing because uh, that will actually throw, it, throw some uh, weird loops if you forget to do that. Thanks.